So, if you're an anime fan, you've probably heard of Annie Wave before, or one of its contemporary sites with like Nine Anime or Zoro TV or whatever. But regardless, a few days ago, all of those sites have been collectively shut down, or at least a good majority of them have been. Now, with the like all sudden nature of this and this all happening at once, people are theorizing that this is like a coordinated effort from like the ACE or some other company just to basically put a stop to anime piracy. Which makes sense as anime is getting more and more popular every year in America. So obviously companies have started to pay attention and I guess they're starting to take piracy more seriously too since sites that have been around for like ever have just all been shut down. Now, I mainly only use AnyWave, and this message popped up on their site the other day, whenever you try to click on an anime. And this is just basically like a final goodbye from the owners or admins or whatever. And right at the end, they have that little message about using legal services, which I think kind of supports the idea that this was some company just trying to like put an end to anime piracy. They could have like told the staff to put that in their message or whatever, who really knows though. Um, either way though, now that all these sites have been shut down, you're probably going to be looking for some other options and since anime piracy, the anime piracy th like whole scene isn't really looking all that good right now, you might want to be using legal options for a little bit and of course you have your crunchy roll, I guess. No, Funimation isn't even around anymore. The high Dive, I don't really use High Dive, I don't know about that that much. Uh, and then you have like Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, just basically a handful of streaming services that a bunch of other stuff are spread around on. And what makes this shutdown really the most like problematic, well not even problematic, just like fucking annoying, is the fact that all of these like animes were compiled together on one website and you didn't have to go through a million streaming services to find the one show you wanted. Like, for example, how I found out about this was I was just going on AnyWave like usual. I hadn't been on for a day or two. And I wanted to finish Cyberpunk Edge Runners, which was a show I started like two years ago and I finished halfway. But now I finally wanted to finish that shit. And guess what? The site's gone. And the show isn't on Crunchyroll, which is what I normally use now. And so I just kind of have to find it somewhere, somewhere else at some point. Because I'm not going to be buying a whole nother streaming service for one show. Maybe if I like wait a week or two, one of the sites will come back up. But that's basically the position that most people are in right now. I know I used myself as an example, but I feel like this is a, it's like pretty applicable to basically anyone. Um, the other services have like some other problems too, it isn't just that like all the shows are missing or whatever. Sometimes the subtitles are fucked up, problems with dubs, just like mislabeling, um, Crunchyroll just removed comments though, who really cares about that. Just like all the small stuff, like even just the site being slow or the app being slow depending on what you're using. There are just general issues that the, these like massive companies just don't feel like fixing I guess. and. They would rather spend their money tracking down the people who are hosting piracy sites instead of just actually improving their website and I guess paying their workers more. I guess that would be a first step to improving. I'm not exactly a businessman, but I know that if you pour more money into a website, it'll probably help with uh, general issues. Um, I'm not really sure what happens from here. The site could come back up. I could see that possibly happening someday. You know how the saying goes. Cut one heads off and two more pops up. People said about Hydras and also about piracy. I told that really disjointedly, but you get the idea. I'm sure one site or maybe even a completely new one will come up sooner or later. Um, For now, I would just stick with legal services. You could probably find what you're looking for like an episode or two on like Twitter, YouTube or shit. Cause, I mean, unless you're looking for something like fairly obscure, which is another problem with these sites going down cause they hosted a lot of hard to find shit. Just like 
general older anime and shit like that. But now you'll probably have some issues finding that. It would probably be either just way harder or way more expensive to watch older versions of shows. But that really does depend on the franchise. And of course with less demand there will be less products so I guess that makes sense. But either way, this is just kind of like a scuffed situation all around. I don't think anyone wanted this besides like the CEO of uh, Crunchyroll or whoever the fuck sent out this request. Either way, this was just like a quick video talking about something that I just saw happened and I wanted to bring it up. So have a nice day. You think your little pranks are funny, huh? You think they're funny? Well, what do you guys think of my prank? Ring, ring. Hello, what's that? What did you mean they took down an e-wave? <laughs>